But people are too comfortable on planes. Let's start. And, and I, some people are like, enough with the shoes off. Who cares if they have their shoes off? Me, shoes off is, is a beach or in your home situation. So shoes off are not good. FaceTiming somebody without your headphones in are not good. Okay. All these things I think we can agree. But let me ask you, what is your, I got two plain questions. for you. What is your feeling on how many times they can hit your seat without saying something? I said something at about 30. I just said, hey, dude, you've got to stop. I'm on the other side of this seat. I said it nicer, actually, because I'm a nicer dude. I said, hey, can you please stop hitting the chair? It, it's waking me up. And this is what he said. It just happens when I cross and uncross my legs. I'm like, okay, can you stop? And he was like, well, I like to have my legs crossed. I'm like, yeah, but I'm, I'm on the other side of this seat. And every time you do, you, you wake me up. And he was like, well, I don't know what to do. I'm like, maybe, maybe do it less or not at all. No, I, here's the thing. I understand he bought that seat. So he gets to get comfortable. But when, this is the question, when does your comfort versus somebody else's comfort around you, when do those things balance out? You know what I mean? Now, there, I think there will probably be, they will fall on two different sides in this a lot of people. But I feel like we live in a society where you can't always just think about your comfort. And if your comfort is causing other people discomfort, you you got to mitigate that somehow. Right? It's like, okay, I don't mean to sound like an ass, but it's like if y'all if I'm on a Southwest flight and a really huge dude or woman is in the C group and sits in the middle and they're they're like leg half their leg bone and you know it's just see it's just over to my side i'm sympathetic that the plane seats aren't that big but if you're that fucking big maybe you should get in the a group so you can squeeze up against the window or the aisle but the middle you're now seeping into everybody's seat and this is not a me problem. You know, this is not a me issue. The reason I hate the aisle, guys, and I, is because I don't like when people walk by and their booty is just rubbing against my show all the time. I, and I've seen video, that video of that woman saying the planes are like anti-fat person because the aisles don't fit her. Yo, if you don't fit on a fucking plane, I don't think that's the planes issue. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't think that's the planes issue. Where do you guys fall on this? Where do you guys fall on... Because we've got to be able to find a way in the middle. Yes, we have to be able to uh, 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 be sympathetic and empathetic for other people. Right? But when is your comfort... When it, when it, when it starts to cringe on other people's comfort... Where is the line for that? If your comfort is unreasonable, like I think this dude crossing and uncrossing the legs 190 times, I think that's unreasonable. Just don't do it. I'm. This is the seat I'm in. Do you know what I mean? And I feel the same way, like, yo, I'm, I'm sorry if you're 360. I, I, You know what? I'm sure you're not psyched about it. That is not a me. That is not a me issue. You know what I mean? Wrong, right? I'm dying to hear what you guys have to say about that. I'm so curious because I'm sure there are people who will fall on either side of it. And I bet you if I was bigger, I might have a different opinion. Hey, if you like this podcast you just watched, you're going to love the one I'm popping up in your face right now. Check it out.